physical and chemical changes. Physical change. If we observe some changes around us like switching on an electric bulb, bulb glows and gives out heat and light energy. The physical appearance of bulb changes as uh, bulb is switched off, it comes back to its uh, original state, original appearance. Rubbing a permanent magnet on a steel rod, steel rod gets magnetized and after some time it loses magnetic properties. So the changes in which there is change for some time, it is temporary change. Such kind of changes are termed as physical changes. In physical changes, there is change in state, texture, magnetic or electrical properties, color of the substance. There is no change in the molecular composition of substance. Such changes are called physical changes. Some important characteristics of physical changes. No new or different substance is formed. For example, ice melts to form water. In this example, only appearance that is physical state of matter has changed from solid to liquid. However, the composition of molecules of ice or water remains same. That is H2O, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen are combining to make water molecule. Now, this change is temporary and reversible. It means uh, when we remove the cause which is applying the change or which is making the change then change would be reversed. It is just for example water formed from ice can be changed back to ice by placing it in a freezing mixture. That is to convert ice into water we provided it heat energy. If that heat energy is taken back from it by cooling it it will change back into ice. Now in terms of energy, there is no net gain or loss of energy in physical change. If we see the change as a whole, then in the whole process there is a no net amount of energy is gained or lost. Just for example, ice absorbs energy changes into water then uh, water emits the same amount of energy changes uh, into ice again so no net change in the energy is there just for example if we take one gram of water at 100 degrees celsius on changing into steam needs 20 to 60 joules of heat energy Now if 1 gram of steam at 100 degrees celsius is uh, being changed into water at 100 degrees celsius it releases the same amount of energy that is 2260 joules. So there is no net change in the energy. 
the change is zero. The next property there is no change in weight of the substance. Weight remains same before the reaction and after the reaction that is in the reactant and the product. Some of the examples of physical changes are Dissolve, dissolving of common salt in water, the white crystalline salt disappears in water. However, water tastes exactly like common salt. Common salt can be recovered by evaporation. Water will be evaporated and common salt would left behind. There is change in state only. Another example action of heat on iodine. The brownish gray crystals of iodine changes to form violet vapors. That is change in physical state. On cooling the violet vapors, they condenses on cooler parts of the test tube to form crystals back. There is change in state and a change in color as well from brown to violet. Other examples of physical changes are formation of dew, crystallization of sugar from its solution, ringing of an electric bell, breaking of a glass pan, making of ice cream etc. Chemical change In chemical change, there is change in specific properties of material by the change in molecular composition. Such type of changes are chemical changes. Now characteristics of chemical change. There is formation of uh, one or more new products in chemical change. Just for example, when hydrogen burns in presence of oxygen it forms a substance water that is an entirely new product that is obtained in the process here products formed have different properties than the original substance the composition of the molecules of products is different from the original substance next property is weight of the substance undergoing chemical change usually changes Just for example, during heating of sugar, the weight of black residue obtained is very less than the actual weight of sugar. Now, this is uh, the change in weight that is apparent change in weight. If we take the weight of steam into account 
and add to it the weight of carbon then total weight will be equal to the weight of sugar crystals thus strictly speaking total weight of substance taking part in chemical change remains constant but apparent weight changes the next property is the change is permanent and irreversible it means uh, generally change will not be reversed by altering the experiment con experimental conditions once chemical change has been occurred it would remain in in the product form once the chemical change has been occurred the product form would be stable they will not change back into reactants such changes are permanent and uh, irreversible just for example sugar which has been decomposed on heating to form carbon and steam will not change to sugar back on cooling in terms of energy during a chemical change energy is either absorbed or evolved the various atoms in a chemical compound are joined by attractive forces known as chemical bonds the making or breaking of the bonds always require exchange of energy thus some amount of heat is either absorbed or given out during a chemical change a chemical substance may absorb energy and uh, can change into simpler substances or two or more simpler substances may combine and form a new substance by releasing the energy the examples of chemical changes are burning of magnesium in air here magnesium ribbon is heated in a flame it catches fire and burns with dazzling white flame to form white ash it has been changed into new substance magnesium oxide rusting of iron iron when exposed to moist air for few days reddish brown powdery mass is found on its surface burning of lpg lpg liquefied petroleum gas it burns with pale blue flame liquids colorless gas carbon dioxide along with steam here again new substances are formed other examples of uh, chemical changes are burning of candle digestion of food curdling of milk drying of paint ripening of fruit clotting of blood photosynthesis butter turning rancid decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen etc Now let's do the comparative study of physical and chemical changes. There is change in physical properties only. No change in these physical properties in chemical change. apart from change in physical properties there is no change in molecular composition in physical change in chemical changes apart from change in state texture color electrical or magnetic properties there is change in molecular properties as well that is change in molecular composition in physical changes no new substances are formed
In chemical change, new substances form. The new substance formed has entirely different properties from the reactants. There is no change in weight in physical change. In chemical change, there is change in apparent weight. Also, there is no change in total weight as well. In physical change, there is no net absorption or release of energy. A chemical change is accompanied by absorption or release of energy. And this change is temporary and uh, it can be reversed. Chemical change is permanent change and uh, cannot be reversed by removing the cause of change that is irreversible. 